guys, this is Sam Skills here from the HQ of CCG Academy. We just been unpacking the new XDG XZ, the new Pioneer controller we have received actually yesterday. But I didn't really have time to do it yesterday, so let's do it today. I would like to uh, go with you guys through all the new features, really quite cool stuff that I have been discovering. I just made like, to be honest, like probably 30 minutes on it and I saw everything that was new. And of course, you can also find the, 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 the old fashioned stuff. But this is really interesting. And to make a really the best review, I think you should be up here, and then I can show you more. So well, let's let's start first of all uh, how you pick up a track. So you have a big screen here. The screen actually is big in the middle. So the jog here is in uh, in the top. It's better than the uh, the RX2, or actually when we have it in the middle and you get a little bit uh, lost with it. I think this is like reminds you a little bit the um, the CDG2000 Nexus. And what is good about it, there is good and bad stuff about this screen. The, the first thing is like what is good is the colors, how big it is. You can just pick up your track like it is and you click, you load it to deck one. Here the deck one and this is the deck two. So uh, I'll say that I want to put it here in deck two. So you can see here it's already loaded. You have all the information you need. I mean uh, the BPM, the, the, the key, the tempo. Uh, Everything, even here you have the information about the effect. I mean, the effect here, that how they're applied in one beat or in four beats, second beat. You can see here the whole pad, you can just choose the effect for me. But I will come to this later on. First of all, the thing that I don't really like, it's about the, uh, it's not really, you can touch the screen, but not for all functions. So you can see here, it doesn't work anything. But when I come to the shortcut, for example, I can here I can click, so I can come to my playlist. I can pick up the playlist, not with my fingers. So I have to choose here. I have to to work with the joggers. So why they didn't put like uh, just a way to 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 push the the screen? But anyway, so I want to pick up again my track, load it into the tune. So the, the shortcut is good if you want to change the settings, if you want to lock the uh, the loading. If you want to do search, that's good. So actually you can search here, it, the touch screen working fine. But as I said, it's not for all the functions. So let's back here to my shortcut and I can go here just to information of the track that I've been loading over here. This is about the screen. So you can choose USB 1, USB 2. You can put here two USBs as you can see. That's a really something good. Sometimes you're just like you can, something get blocked with USB and you're in the middle of the mix. So it's a little bit uh, trashy sometimes. It's happened often. And here you can link. This is a button to link your computer. Let's see here what we have here with Jog Wheel. You see the Jog Wheel here is quite interesting. You can see the artwork in the middle. This is really interesting. I think it's fun because sometimes it's cool. If it, You can even change the picture and you put your own picture or your logo as a DJ, whatever. And the size, it, for me, it's exactly the same size like um, the CDG Nexus or the 850. For my big hands, it's really working fine. For the other controllers, I never like to use them just because my hand is too big for them. So this is the good thing about it. The, the, the intensity here, how you work it, you can all the joy, you can adjust it here with button, even make it like more rigid or more softer. This is a cool part. This is actually, you have it in Nexus uh, as well. And this is quite cool. The EQ for the master. So actually you can just EQ the room before even touching your EQ in for your mixer, if, for example, you come to a bar, like it has like shitty uh, sound system, like usually, so you can see if they don't have enough bass, probably you can add more bass into the, the, the main room or uh, medium or high. It depends on what is missing or maybe put it lower because the bass is too high. So you can set up your, your sound system before even you start in your gig. As you can see here, the pads here are very fun. The quality is good. You can have hot cues, beat loop, sleep loop, and the beat jump. Let me show you a little bit what you can do with all this stuff here. The thing is like, first of all, you choose the track. Um, let me play this. I want to go a little bit here looking for something more interesting. So for example, if I want to catch the beat here, one, two, three, four. Okay, this is the first hot cue. I will take the second one. And then I can take another one. 
let's wait for another one. Just let's say we have three here. I can go for eight, but I, I would never use eight. I never remember that I've been using eight. I probably use maximum four. So here you now, this is my hot cues. I can call them anytime I want. You can see here we have ABC. Those are the points where I made my hot cues. So let's try call them back. If I want to delete, I just push the shift here and here, I delete them. I want to make another one to replace, for example, that's one I didn't like, I will replace another one. Okay, I made another one. Let's call it back. I can call it as much as I want. But here, I'm free. I'm free because I don't have the quantitizing activated. If I activate the quantitizing, I cannot push out of my beat. I only can do it during my beat, actually. Look, if I try the quantitize, here is activated, it's in red. So now I cannot do that. You see, I cannot do it anymore. But I cannot do it faster. I just caught every beat. If I want to more, be more free, just disengage the quantities and now you're more free. Okay, want to delete again, just shift and I push this here. This is the first part. This is quite cool. I mean, you can have until eight, but I think I don't think you need that much. Let's start with the beat loop. As you can see it here is activated. So now here the beat loop, you can make a small loop like with one quarter. It's just one quarter, we can do here 32 beat. So the loop is much longer, 32 beat. You can, more you go left, more you make it slower. So here you have it 16 beat, eight beat, four, here you can make it two. Here you can make one beat, half beat, and quarter beat. And when you push it back, the loop gets released. Let's get to sleep mode. Sleep mode is like when you do your loop or the effect and you release your button, the music will continue where you should be. Like if I make a loop like more normal, now when I will release, it will go into where it should be. So it's like instead of looping and then when you release the loop it continues from here, you loop in and when you finish the loop it will continue from the place where it should be. That's it. Beat jump. You can use this for maybe if for example you want to really start your cue on the moment of the drop and you missed it, you can just go back with the, you see, I come back by pushing here, I take four beats back behind, if I push here I will four beats forward. So let's see, I will move out from the drop and I will be back to it, okay? You see, come back. If I push two times, it will come back two times for beat. Here we go, this is the pad stuff. I think you can have a lot of fun, you will discover it by yourself. The more you're like uh, with your fingers, like free, you can do more things. Uh, let's come back to here, to the mixer. I really love the mixer, it feels like a real mixer. You have everything, you have four channels. Four channels are really, really good, but limited. So what I will say, these two channels, you have right and left, and these are for two ways. Either you can add the vinyl, right, left, you can add CD players, it can be even a Denon player, whatever player you want, you can just plug it behind into the channel 4 and channel 3. Or if you don't want to use a uh, 4 DAX and you want to use computer, you can only select here 4 channel with computer or 4 channel here with the phone. And then you just plug whatever you want. Behind you have the, uh, the USB um, plug for the computer or you can also have the network plug, the RG45. What do we have here? Two pads. This is part for the first part of the FX. And as you can see here, you can select the mic one, mic two. This is a cool thing. You have two mics here. You can 
this is the newest new, new normally we only uh, can connect only one mic but here you can have two and equalizer for each microphone plus the level for the sound and you can push also the talk over if you want to talk the music gets lower and if you are in like want to have a feedback reduce if you're in a room with a lot of feedback and echo you can just say where well, is this light or heavy and this is a really good function so two microphones two phones as well you can have the small mid, uh, jack or the big jack the normal jack so if you're playing back to back with someone this is really useful so everybody can you don't need splitter you already have it here this is the beat fx pad it's quite cool actually you can change the beat depends on what you want during your fx so for example you can make it longer or smaller It's very cool, you can actually you can adapt it as you want. If you don't want to tap, if you want to tap, you can tap and you do your own mix. This is like you already know from uh, the Nexus and all the other. So I can tap my mix, my uh, FX story. I can make it faster, but always on the beat. Huh? Or I can just quantitize it into the beat. Quantitizing is like when you're not sure about what you're doing, the best thing is to make it either quantitize or auto beat, then it will, the FX will be on top of the BPM, so actually match to the BPM. But just make sure that B, this beat FX, they don't work with all the FX, this pad that we mean, it doesn't work with all the FX. For example, if I choose the filter, I cannot choose anymore. If I can, flanger, same, the phaser. If this gets off, it means that you just, the pad doesn't work with that certain FX. Depends of what you're doing, you can just apply it to the frequency you want or you can apply it to all frequencies at the same time. For each FX, you can either work with the low, medium, high, all together, or you just say, oh, you know what, I just want to have my filter working on the high frequencies. For example, this is only high. Activated on the high, I put it only on the low. Or I put it in the middle, medium, or all of them. So basically every FX can have three different colors and this is cool actually. It depends on the FX, sometimes you want to have it, your own color and own touch in it. And that can be really interesting. And you can apply this FX in any kind of the um, sources you have here. And this is the second part of the FX. Here you have the other pad and you have the color knob for each channel this is cool very cool so but this is you must know about that oh sorry i put this down this is quite cool as you can see guys this is quite good uh, and expensive uh, dg controller 2200 250 euros uh, if you have the RX2, the DJI RX2, I think it's quite good enough. This one is a little bit upper. I don't know which one I decide, but I would think the money that I have in my pocket will decide for this. Oh, this is my uh, overview here. I hope to see you uh, next time for another review or another tutorial. But if you want to learn how to DJ for beginners, like starting from scratch, just link below. You can follow the link to get my course for beginners. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, you play, you sleep, and you repeat. I'll see you next time. Ciao.